All these people that are sitting down here close to the bench, these little kids and women, they come out here to watch you, all right? They don't come out here to listen, listen to your jaw, okay? Make sure that you play for the right reason. Let's have a lot of fun today. No cuts and take care of each other, all right? We've had a great spring. Let's finish up strong, strong do everything right, have some fun, okay? Anybody got any questions? Product of his environment. All right, here we go, let's go. It's a good lesson from the standpoint of, first thing is, is if we didn't know for sure, then we, sh we shouldn't have put him in it. Right. Which way are we kick it? head coach, he's rooting for both teams today, Mike Gundy. Yeah, it's a great day. I tell you, we got a great uh, showing here, a lot of fans, and the uh, weather's turned out to be nice. Both teams are excited about playing, and uh, just looking forward to a good game. You know, it's always a lot of fun to divide the teams up like this and, and watch them compete. In the first half, we play it like a normal game. The only thing is, it looks like to me, starting the 40-second clock a little quick. 35, well, sometimes they move it. I give them that luxury. Thank you. It's a good run. Make sure don't drop the ball behind you. Hand it to the official. They like it when you do that. That way you always know you do that. Hey, Luke, what's wrong with Bo? What's wrong with Bo? He needs to be in the game. Would you want that ball to be? Down lower. Yeah, he's 5'8", and they're dropping in there. Get it down here where these two guys can't get to. Yeah. He's got a touchdown, all right? Either way. Just walk hey, your drop back. That's a good job of handling the offense. But just know, you know, if you just keep the ball in bounds, there's about a 99% chance he'll score. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's going to catch it. Just keep it in bounds. Okay? I was trying to rest the cute. I thought you were going, but... He'll out-jump him. Yeah. Just keep it in bounds, and he'll score. When the Oklahoma State Cowboys take the field on August 30th against Washington State, it will be with the team's fourth quarterback to start the season for the Cowboys since 2003. But unlike previous years where the signal calling position was up for grabs, this will be different. For the first time in Mike Gundy's tenure as Oklahoma State's head coach, there will be no controversy behind center, and the Cowboys will enter the season with an established number one quarterback who is already breaking Gundy's school records. He's really developed into a good player. He's got a lot of experience now. He's had 10, 10 11 games. He's established himself, and he's taken on the leadership role this spring. Uh, and there's really good quarterbacks in this league. Uh, we're probably as deep as any league in the country uh, with quality quarterbacks, uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade Zach for anybody. After I broke the record against Texas, you know, I ne we never talked about it, about any kind of, kind of record or anything, but, um, you know, that's, I mean, that aside, I mean, it, it would be great, but, you know, if I didn't do it, it would be fine too, but I'm sure once the time comes, I mean, he might be joking around with me about it, though. As potent from the ground as he is in the air, Robinson is a rare talent that combines aerial accuracy with breakaway mobility. In 13 games last season, he threw for 23 touchdowns to only nine interceptions for just under 3,000 yards. All that while rushing for over 800 more. But even with all the success in his first year as the starter, Robinson knows full well that he needs to mature as a quarterback and still has much to learn. Goal mine was was to you know always hit the check down instead of if somebody's not open just immediately take off and run because I know my body took a pretty good toll with, with hits last year so um, you know I guess hitting the check down and just overall manager the, the offense and and I feel like I know where guys are supposed to be on every play whether you know it's a running play or passing play. And while his maturation on the field is only a small part of the duties of a quarterback for this undisputed leader of one of the most powerful offenses in college football, it is a role which the easygoing Robinson is now embracing. You know, the quarterback's always going to be the guy that everybody looks to, and and uh, so hopefully, you know, I can I can continue to lead, you know, on the field, off the field, and and I'm I'm not big a rah-rah guy and, and so kind of just leading by example. But while the weight of an entire football team and an entire community could be too much for some to take, Robinson is blocking it all out, focusing on the goal at hand and isn't about to let the pressure get to him. Yeah, I put some pressure on myself. Uh, I, I, I don't, you know, try to, you know, put too much pressure then you start stop worrying about or you start worrying about making mistakes and, and that kind of thing. So. Uh, I just go out and, I, you know, I put all the preparation in bef before the game starts, you know, that week. And so uh, that, that kind of relieves some pressure. Coming up next, can the Orange team finally overcome their mistakes 
We check out the second half highlights, and we spotlight number one receiving threat, Des Bryant. He's coming off a great freshman campaign and looking to showcase his talents in January. That and more next. Should the Oklahoma State Cowboys make a run at the Big 12 Championship, they'll need major contributions from the receiving core and especially from Des Bryant. Brian's a good player for us. Uh, you know, obviously a true freshman last year at the wide receiver position and really good when the ball's in the air, can go get it and make a play. Uh, likes to play the game, very physical. Uh, so he should be a good player for us again this season. With the departure of Adarius Bowman, the 6'2 sophomore from Lufkin, Texas, will enter the season as the number one receiver on the depth chart, and the expectations are rising for this high flyer. Dez is going to have to carry us for a while uh, until we develop some of these younger players. Now, Damian Davis will play some in the slot for us, and he did get some reps last year in, in games, uh, so he'll be somewhat experienced. Uh, Dez is going to have to carry the load while these other young receivers really develop, uh, which could take a few games. But uh, earlier, we visited about him, and you know, he does like to play. Dez likes to be in games. He likes to play football, so I think he'll be able to do that. He kind of you know, accepted that role towards the end of last season. And I mean, he blew up against you know, K-State and KU and, and then, you know, in the bowl game, obviously. But um, I think he kind of started feeling that, that role towards the end of the year. After starting slowly through the first seven games last season, Bryant turned it on at the end in a 155-yard performance against the Orange Bowl champion Kansas Jayhawks and a 117-yard effort against Indiana in the Insight Bowl. If the Cowboys are looking at the BCS, Bryant will need to repeat those performances each week. Action just beginning here in the third quarter, and Kate out of the shotgun fakes a handoff and is tackled back at the 15-yard line. Handoff to Kendall Hunter up the middle, and he jukes his way between tacklers and scoots his way forward up to the 34-yard line for a gain of 14 yards and an or down. Pickett Stadium and Zach Robinson throws it deep over the middle on the pass caught at the goal line and into the end zone goes Wilson Newman. 6'4", 245 pound redshirt freshman tight end hauls in the 31 yard scoring strike and now the Orange with an extra point and a chance to tie. Maybe the thing that the Orange needed to avoid was a first and goal. They'd had four first and goal opportunities and failed to score. It's first and seven. Kate fakes a handoff, rolls out to his right, dumps it off short it's caught by the tight end, Ben Bailey. He's hit. The ball comes loose. The ball comes loose, and it was recovered by the Orange, and the Orange will have the football at the white 39-yard line. On second and 10, a handoff to Kendall Hunter, who reverses his field, running back toward the far side. He picks up the first down and a whole lot more. Chased out of bounds at the 20-yard line of the white. A gain of 19 yards, and the Orange will have a first and 10 from the white 20. And Whedon drops back to pass, oh. rolls out to his oh. right, throws to the back of the end zone. Oh. The pass is incomplete. I think a defender, T.J. Bell, got a hand on it and knocked it offline just a bit, but Wilson Newman catch it and dropped it in the back of the end zone. Probably still was a ball that should have been caught. Oh, it's a handoff, and we may have a safety. It is a safety. Seth Clements was the first man to get a hit on the tailback, Bo Johnson. And Johnson tried to wiggle his way in the football goal line, but could not. And I tell you what, it went for how that would be that the deep that the Cowboys, a unit lacking in depth a year ago and struggled at times, comes up with a game-winning play on a safety. <laughs> 